Nobody knows what, what made the show as successful as it was. Uh, some of it was some of the things I've just said. I think one of the, one of the big, one of the, th one of the things is the, 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 you can't ignore the, the collection of people that was brought together by, by Gene Reynolds. The, you know, the, the writing and the acting and the directing talent was, was terrific. We also had, at a certain point, we had achieved enough popularity that the network put us on in a prominent place. That had something to do with it, um, you know, prominent place in the schedule. But even before that, the network liked the show enough, people at the network liked the show enough to keep it on the air, even though it was not doing well in the ratings. Today, they cancel shows like uh, during the first commercial. I mean, they're not, they don't stick with them. Um, they stuck with us for a whole season. And we were at the bottom of the list. We used to joke that we were, you know, other shows were in the top 10, we were in the top 70. I mean, we were right down at the bottom until they started to uh, go into reruns and they st they, then the audience had seen the other shows and they tried us out and, uh, and thought they liked us and then, they, then we had a bigger audience. We had a really good audience when we came back the next season. Uh, but I think one of the most important reasons that the show worked, although I don't think anybody really knows why it works as well as it did, I think one of the most important reasons was that we were dealing with a unique situation. It never was a situation like that on television before. People in this horrifying pl place, this war, I don't mean Korea, I mean the war. They were away from home. They were in Korea and away from home. They had to make their own family there and they were people who were thrown together who, under these harrowing conditions, got on each other's nerves. And they were, we've heard this over and over again, they were trying to maintain their sanity by acting crazy, but they really were in a, in a situation that could drive you crazy. But the thing that was essential, that, that I think made, helped the audience connect to it was that we knew we were telling the story of real people. The, the producers, uh, you know, Larry and Gene, went to Korea. I, they asked me to go and I couldn't go. I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, uh, forget why, but I couldn't, I couldn't make that trip. I wish I had been able to. But they went to Korea. They, they, they saw what the conditions were like. They, uh, they interviewed the real doctors and nurses. And all of us who did it knew we were playing real people who had lived through real conditions. We weren't comic characters who were there just to amuse you. I mean, we were, we were also there for that. But we had, a, we had a kind of a loyalty to the reality of it. The truth. Yeah, yeah, the truth. And I think the, I think the audience got that and appreciated it. 